is going on guys? This is your boy k -Mon. Today we're going to bring you guys a very, very special duel. So, let me tell you how this duel is going to go, right? Uh, one of the uh, homies there, Peter, uh, he entered just so we can have even numbers, right? But he said he's playing Edison. <laughs> like a, a Edison-style-ish deck, right? So, we had some little rules and stipulations. The rules were, he always went first, and he always drew a six card. I was just like, that's cool. But... He said, no matter what happens, he'll give me the win. I was like, okay, cool. So we're gonna go right into it. So I just wanna give out that dis disclaimer. This is more of a fun duel. It was, it was tournament still, but it was more of a fun duel. I thought you guys would find this kind of cool and fun like I did, so let's get right into it. So yep, uh, there's no need to actually do a dice roll because he's gonna go first. And uh, also I chose not to side against him because you know I'm playing a more modern day deck and he is not playing a modern day deck so like if i were to side it just would not be fair whatsoever because like one lightning storm just ruins his day you know what i mean lightning storm wins duster wins uh you know evenly like stuff like that so he is playing the old school great keeper so he's gonna start off with the commander to search out necro valley and i was just like oh lord here we go bro <laughs> you know what i mean like, i was just like oh wow and um, I actually did make a, oh, I bit my tongue. I did make a singular misplay here, which could have saved me against a lot of stuff. And now he's gonna go for duality. He's gonna go get that <laughs> solemn judgment. And I'm just like, Yo, you're, you're broken, bro. You're broken, you know what I mean? So yeah, so he has Necro Valley and judgment in his hand. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So he's gonna go Necro Valley here, set one, set two, set three, set four, and pass. I'm like, all right, cool. Now I'm like, okay, cool. My hand is full of like a lot of monsters and stuff like that, but I'm gonna start off with the M Seti here. M Seti effect. I'm doing that so I could try to draw into like another card, AKA like Blackout or something like that. You know what I mean? So he's reading what the card does just to make sure that Necro Valley can stop it, which it cannot stop its effect from searching and then drawing a card, but what Necro Valley does, it will. I can't summon them out from the graveyard, so that's pretty broken. So I am gonna get the uh, the King Sark here. Shuffling up real quick. And again, keep in mind, this is just for fun, bro. This is just for fun, you know what I mean? Draw a card. The old school decks are kind of broken though when you, when you really think about it. So now I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, what I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for having a Ashuna play in my hand, right? So this is where I actually misplayed. I should have left the Ashuna in, in my hand here, right? Because um, I needed to summon out. So I summon out Ashuna here. Cause think about it, if I were to just keep, actually no, it didn't matter cause he had Necro Valley on the field. So I couldn't even banish. So I summon out Monk, I'm like, it's something good. He's like, yep. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, cool. I go summon up Moe, Moe effect, real for cost. And uh, here he does go warning. I'm like, ah, okay. So he is at 6K and I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And I'm like, he does have um, judgment face down. So I'm gonna enter battle attack for a thousand. Cause I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't banish card in the graveyard. You know what I mean? And even if I did banish the Ashuna in my hand to get out the Vashuda, even in the like graveyard, I couldn't banish it. You know what I mean? So now I'm like, yeah, you should definitely get that uh, that uh, that uh, duality. So he's, he's gonna get the commanded. I think it's what it's called, commanded. I'm just like, man, I'm in a bad spot right now. <laughs> like, it's very, very, very hard, bro. Very hard. Like, well, that was a crazy card. Obviously, if this is a more modern day deck i would have decided and whatnot and been like if, if i went that's wrong i'm gonna go first you know stuff like that but again gotta clarify just for fun because I, I do get some comments some people always saying like oh, how could you lose that or how could you do this do that i'm just like bro like <laughs> relax because like people tend to forget the people here at my locals are my friends <laughs> you know what i mean like they're they're not random folks i don't know they're like my friends who have known for like 10 plus years <laughs> you feel me like 
So it's like it's never it's never that serious, it's never that deep. Just for fun anyway, so. This is gonna set and pass. I'm like, okay, cool, my turn. Which I low-key kinda wanna make gravekeepers now. Like, did that kinda 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 go kinda crazy? I don't know. They'll kinda go kinda crazy. So now I'm like M steady again, M steady effect. So again, I'm trying to actually draw into uh blackout here. Because if I can get blackout, I can get rid of um Necro Valley and I can get rid of his other face down card and then we could be good to go from there. Oh, man. And then I draw a card, which I didn't draw anything good, I don't think. Yeah, e like, even my, my draws were, weren't, like, the best kind of draws here. You know what I mean? So now I'm like, all right, cool. Summon out Ecclesia. Just reading what the card does. I'm like, Ecclesia effect. Summon out Molye. Molye effect reveal, and then he does go bottomless. And I was just like, yeesh. You know what I mean? Yeesh. Boop. I still got the token out. So now I'm just like, all right, I'm going to pitch. Uh, thing in hand to summon out Long Yuong, Long Yuong effect here. Get token. I'm like, is any, everything good here? We're good to go? I'm like, okay, cool. Synchro summon, and I'm going to go for Baron, and he does go into uh, Judgment, and I'm like, okay, cool. So that's 6,000 plus 5. He's at 25 left. So he was able to actually just play through my entire board, and I couldn't do too much because of the Necro Valley that is on the field there. That card is so strong. So he's going to go for Command it again, search for another Necro Valley just so he doesn't draw, hard draw it. You know what I mean? This deck back in the day was freaking oppressive, though. Holy. You know what I mean? Like, holy. He's going to go a duality again. He's going to probably going to go for the, the warning. Mind you, he can't really do too much else here. You know what I mean? Like, sure... He's stopping me from like playing a little bit, but it's like he can't really do other things here, bro. You know what I mean? Which I think he actually did get the warning. Yeah, right now he's going over his life points to see how much he does have left. He was going to go, uh, what was that? Ascendant, I think that was, is to, to get back to from the graveyard. Which if I had Ghost Spell, it would have been crazy. So he's going to go and summon into battle attack pass i'm like okay cool and again i have a grave full of things i can use and i have like a tie up but obviously i can't banish anything you know what i mean set one pass someone's out this card into battle tech tech i'm just like yep gonna go effect send to grave target to pop which he does pop my 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 king sark which is fine by me i could have another one in my hand obviously draw a card i'm like hmm what do we do? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, what, what do we do here, bro? There's not much I can do, honestly, but it is what it is. I'm also Moye. I'm like, the summon good? And I believe he just goes warning. I'm like, I right, well. I'm like, sure, go ahead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got nothing else. Royal tribute, bro. Show me the hand. Get rid. I'm like, yikes. Attack again. I'm like, yep. <laughs> Pass. And then I draw into nothing here, I think. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> I draw again. I'm like, I got nothing. So yeah, I scoop it up here. I'm like, Jesus, I got nothing. So yeah, yeah, he had a bottomless face down. So he takes game one, you know, so now we're going to go into game number two. And again, keep in mind, I'm letting him go first, and he's drawing a six card every single time. So there's, I'm not siding against him because I already got the uh, the uh, win regardless. So there, there's no need for me to, like, try hard and side. You know what I mean? It's just for fun. So he's going to go duality. I'm like, I'm just going to I'm gonna hit that with that. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, no, 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 no. You're not warning me, bro. <laughs> He's going to set, activate, set, set, two. I'm like, sheesh, pass. So here it's so crazy. So I'm like, all right, cool. Special summon out. So no, I go, um, 
Okay, so I am going to go M City first because I do want to get that card out of my hand and then I want to draw an extra card. Again, just in case I do draw into Blackout, Blackout is one of the biggest keys in this deck for me to win against him because like he has unless he has judgment face down then it's just like i right, bro you know draw a card didn't draw anything so now i special out ecclesia and then bro flips up royal oppression pays 800 to, to destroy i'm like that's broken even if i did chain out uh ecclesia here he could still pay another another 800 just to uh, destroy the destroy the freaking monster I summon. A Royal Oppression is a crazy card. That card is so busted. So if you guys do not know what that card does, I'll explain it to you. Uh, both players can use it. When a player summons a monster, you pay 800 to, I think it negates the summon and destroy I'm not sure if it, if it negates the summon, but I know it destroys it. It might negate the summon. Actually, let's just look it up over here on the side. I feel like it doesn't negate the summon. Let's see. Let's see. Pretty sure it does. Okay, each player can pay 800 life points to negate the special summon of a monster or an effect that special summons the monster and destroy those cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, it does negate the summon itself. So he's negating the summon and destroying, so... Yeah, he can keep doing it constantly. You know what I mean? But I could do it too. But the only bad side is like he literally doesn't special summon like that. You know what I mean? The only thing Royal Oppression cannot get rid of is the uh, summon of of a uh, of a cost. So like, if I were to go Ashuna in hand, banish for freaking cost. He can't stop that because that's a uh, cost summon. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the same argument for like value. Like back back in the freaking day. Well, no, 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 sorry. He can still negate that. The only thing with with, with, with like value, uh, value banishes itself for for like cost. You know what I mean? Then it banishes it then summon synchro. But row pressure, you go row pressure, pressure to negate that. But then if value stays in graveyard, so then so then you you could do it again and again and again. So it's, it's pointless to actually negate value. So he is, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, pass. He does summon out Stardust. I was like, no. Oh, he, he does go for the duality, actually. He does get the uh, Ascendant? I think that's Ascendant. My grave is full of a lot of good stuff. It's a battle attack. Attack? I'm like, sure. Pass. I'm like, oh, this deck is broken. You know, back in the day, this deck must have been crazy. You know what I mean? Like, holy. I'm like, set. Pass. <laughs> I can't do much else, bro. And then he roll. I'm just like, yo, no way again. Effect target to pop. Attack for like 2k. I'm like, sure. I'm like, ah, oh, man, that Royal Oppression plus uh, Necro Valley is killer right now, bro. Holy. So now I'm just like, Jesus. Can't do much. I pass up. He does go for Allure. Vanishes that. Effects. He's gonna bring those back to hand. Oh no, he can't actually. Yeah, summon attack attack. Then just pass. There's no really. To, there's no real need to like really think about it. You know what I mean? Not much to really do. I'm just like I roll oppression. So here he 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 gave me a homie stock. He was like, "Yo, could you do something if roll oppression wasn't there?" I was like, "I could do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I just can't because roll oppression and that." He was just like, "Okay, yeah, just play. I won't use it." I was like, "You sure?" He's like, "Yeah, it's fine. It's fine." Because, again, we're friends. You know what I mean? Like, people think, like, oh, you're in a local. Da, 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 da. Nah, bro, you're friends. So I was like, so you're not going to use it? He's like, not really. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, all right, then I'll just I'll just play, sure. I'm going to activate Vashuda. I'm like, he's like, yep. I'm like, okay, cool. Some of Vashuda. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to. No, I'm going to activate Ashuda. Sorry. <laughs> he's like, yep. I'm like, okay, cool. Boop, summon out Monk. He's like, yep. I'm like, okay, cool. Vashuda, bounce back. I think I bounce back Necro Valley here. I'm pretty sure I bounce back Necro Valley because I can't really do 
like a lot. Yeah, I bounce back Necro Valley here. I'm like, I gotta bounce that back. Not the impression. I'm like, well, you're not gonna use it. So then I activate King Shark here. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, cool. He's gracing me with the with the graces of God right now. So summon, summon. <laughs> I'm like, is this good? He's like, yep. I'm like, okay, cool. I was like, this doesn't activate. I just summoned them for free. So it's kind of like Grafa, you know, the freaking Dark World. He just summons himself. So like, if you guys didn't know Grafa, the the, the Dark World, and the Graver can actually get past um, Dweller and get past Shadow Imprisoning Mirror because um, yeah, like it's not active. It just summons itself. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure how that works with King Stark. But anyways, I'm gonna go Ashuna effect. We're gonna banish Adara here, or sorry, Ashuna to summon Adara. I link away here, summon out another uh, monk. I banish, add back to hand here. I'm like, okay, get rid of the summon out Long Yuong, Long Yuong effect. We're locked into worms, but that's totally fine with me, bro. I'm a-okay with that. Summon out a token here. Boom, boom, and then I synchro summon. I'm just like, yeah, thank God I didn't use that project because like, I couldn't do anything. Uh, burn for 12, and I'm like, hmm. Thinking of like, if this is enough damage here. I was asking how much they are each. So yeah, it's actually pretty interesting seeing how this deck fights against like a more old school, uh, you know, deck. Obviously, like if if I didn't know him, I'd be, I would I'd be siding. You know what I mean? Lightning storm, duster, just boop boop, get out of here. You know, story's over. You know what I mean? Like can't do much else. Into battle attack. 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 Gonna go fucking like bash breath for 12. I'm like, who'd you do it on? He said, this card right here. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, effects, I'm gonna draw two cards here. Which I needed that actually. I needed that so bad. Yeah, main phase two, effects. Summon out Ty. I'm like, anything here? He's like, nope. I'm like, okay, cool. Ty effect. We're going to... Mm. It's a monster reborn. He's like, why don't you just play that? I'm like, well, this is searchable. It's a name. I'm like, okay, cool. Effects. We're going to go... Banish Longy Wong. Get token out here. Coming out Boxia, Chenik 1, Chenik 2. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. And yeah, we scoop it up. I'm just like, oh, thank God. Yo, so I would have I would have been cooked if um, if he didn't give me the homie stock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, let's go on to game number three. Let's we'll see who <laughs> wins it out here, bro. This was so fun, actually. I, I want to do this again, actually. So you know, he's going to start off with Necro Valley. And I'm like, okay, cool. Broken card once again. Summon out Stardust. He's going to banish it from the, from the extra deck, but we know he has it. No big deal. Set. Pass. I'm like, okay. Like, draw a card. I'm like, okay, cool. M said, I saw this card all three games. So crazy. Why can't I see it more in, like, my, like, actual duels? You know what I mean? Like, holy... Draw a card. Go Ashuna here, activate, summon. Summon out, special summon out, Ecclesia. I'm like, anything here? He's like, not really. I'm like, okay, cool. Effect, tribute for cost. I'm like, you want Ash? 
<laughs> Even though he can't ash. <laughs> it's just like... Moye here, Moye effect. He's thinking of what he wants to do here. I was just like, yeah, I mean, Thoros just protects it from, like, destruction, the field spell. So, I mean, it doesn't really do too much here anymore, you know what I mean? So we're summon these two, and we're going to go for classic sword soul stuff. And I'm like, summon, is the summon good? He's like, yep, I'm going to one, two. And then I'm like, I don't even want to cut, but... I'm gonna draw a card here. And then we're gonna go search for a probably a long yuong. Yeah, long yuong. Don't don't draw me, bro. And now I'm like. It's normal summon out Adara here, because I did normal summon. This is all special summon. I don't know what I'm thinking, Pharaoh. Just go for the for the boxia, bro. I know. I think I think he was asking me a question. Cause I'm just like, yo, it's so clear to go 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 for a boxia here. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna synchro summon these two. It's a boxia. We well, just check the levels. I'm like, it's a seven. So effect target target bounce. Back to deck, he's like, what? I'm like, yeah. And from here, that's gonna be all sure. He's like, this card broken, what? I'm like, yes, sir. Man, smart player too, he don't gotta show me the card, uh, I bounce back either. And now Stardust dies, he's like, this card sucks. <laughs> nah, back in the day, Malefic Stardust was, was broken, bro, holy. And now I'm like, okay, cool. I can play normal now. Pitch to activate, summon out. Boop. Burn for 12. Gonna go effect. And yeah, it is just Joshi Rose. So yeah, the deck. <laughs> Once you can get past that stuff, it's pretty good. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the video. See you guys next time, man. Have an awesome one. Peace.